make sure to watch part one before watching this part. Anyway, here's Metropolis zone. It has it. This zone is infamous cause of cause of the bad nicks. The the one the here's the first one, Astaron, who who shoots which shoots um those spikes to five di directions. Shellcracker, who has a big claw and can only be just the, has a small weak spot. And soon you'll meet the most infamous one. Damn it! Here's the worst one Slicer. It, it makes sure your ring. Ring, rings drop, and it's very hard to avoid its attack. And after it attacks, it leaves itself defenseless. And you know what makes these enemies worst? Cheap enemy placement. Like you can, you can. There are shell crack crackers in. Where there are low ceilings, and same with slicers, I guess. This zone also has lots of gimmicks, like more than ten of them, like for all fifteen. This is also the only level in the. On the only zone in the game that has three acts. The music of this zone is has a 90s feel to it and is really good. The boss is weird. Robotnik has these things surrounding him and he has balloon versions of himself. <laughs> That's totally weird. You have to hit, it, hit him with good timing so you won't get damaged. They are totally more threatening when they are around Robotnik. Sky Chase Zone. This zone is all about killing Batniks and and collecting rings while sta staying on till the tornado. It's a pretty chill level. It has these adorable turtle enemies and those those jet dudes or whatever they are, those looking bird looking things who fly really fast and these monkey dudes who throw spike balls. The music is is it's calm and makes you think that this is that you're you're taking a break from all the gr cruel bullshit you faced in Metropolis Town, but I still don't really like it. Foreshadowing, foreshadowing, foreshadowing. In Fortress Zone. How dare you, Robotnik! I guess capturing tails in the Game Gear version wasn't enough. Anyway, Sonic is ready to follow Robotnik's plans and avenge tails. In this zone, you have to do some pr precise platforming, as your worst enemy in this level is our is bottomless pit. Is a bottomless pit. The music is the music reminds me of the of the dog fights of the World War One. <coughs> the boss of this zone is really hard, in my opinion. It has the robotic 
laughing in the background and these spiky platforms that move and can damage you and also that fucking laser oh shit wait I don't do that yet now finally oh my fucking god that was bad I died so many times anyway it's time for the last zone which is only one act. act. Hey, tell he's alive. Tell survived. That's nice. Now he's gonna help Sonic to get to reach the dead dead egg. Wow, Sonic is on steroids. <sighs> Damn. Wow, Sonic is, is in space, but can, but he's not dead. Ah, <gasps> ah, uh, 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 my ears! Ah. Uh. Anyway, this zone only has two bosses, which you have to fight. No, with with without any rings. You just need to be. Very careful with what you do. What the fuck? Robotnik is faster than Sonic? Well, it's a part of the fucking story. Anyway, here's the final boss. If you wanna beat this boss quickly, you have to jump on his chest with good timing. As you need to watch out for its its spiky arms, then he'll try to ch jump on you, which then you have to dodge. Then, uh, he he launches launches his arms as soon as he as he falls down, comes down. If you go behind him, you he launches egg bombs at you but I'm not gonna do that what for fuck's sake I, I got many hits but I still fucking died and and if you wanna do this the safe way you have to wait until it it launch and you have to wait when it launch, launches after it launches himself which we, will make it easier for you to damage him without dying like this. Oh. Oh. This final boss music is quite epic. It's depressing and kinda depressing. Whatever. <sighs> For fuck's sake. After you defeat the final boss, Sonic escapes the dead egg which apparently started exploding because of video game logic. Anyway, if you've collected all the Chaos Emeralds, tail, um, Sonic, so, Super Sonic will fly up in the sky with the birds, with birds, and if not, then then Tails saves Sonic and the credits roll. On the topic of the Chaos Emeralds, they added a seventh one, but I don't know why Sonic 1 only had six. Special stages return um, in this game, and you enter them by getting collecting 50 rings and reaching a lamp post. I mean, a checkpoint. If you do so, stars will appear above the checkpoint, and and you jump on them to enter the special stage. These special stages are in these polygonal half pipes. You have to get enough rings in in three sections to get to get all the chaos emeralds and um, 
Um, um, if these these special features aren't easy at all, if you don't remember their layouts, and as and you also have to avoid bombs and and yeah, and unless the second player is good at good at special stages, tells will be nothing but trouble to you. Um, if you get all seven chaos emeralds, you get you get the ability to turn into super sonic, uh, which who which gets gives you. During this form, Sonic is invincible and can run and jump, jump, run faster and jump higher. Alright, I got the Chaos Emeralds. And whatever you do, do not get the Chaos Emeralds as Tails alone. Cause Tails can go super in this game. So, which sucks ass. Anyway, this game is great. It took everything about Sonic 1 and, and made it way better. The gameplay is more fun. The music composed by Masato Nakamura is much better. And the graphics were amazing for the time. And maybe even for today's standards. Sonic 2 remains to be one of to be the best selling Sega Genesis slash Megatronic game. And also the best selling... Sonic game of all time. Some people go as far as saying that this is their favorite Sonic game. While I would have to disagree, it's still one of the best Sonic games. In my opinion, Sonic 2 is uh, kinda outdated because of Tails, and I prefer modern titles such as Sonic Generations and Unleashed HD version. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 gets 7.8 out of 10. Um, stay tuned for more, more videos. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. See ya.